In my estimation, Abigail Adams is one of the most interesting women in history. My first exposure to her was many years ago while watching the stage production turned movie, 1776. If you're not familiar with the movie and interested in the Adams, you should see 1776. Not for its historical accuracy, but because of the way it portrays their relationship. There's so much to talk about when it comes to John and Abigail Adams, and it's difficult to talk about her without talking about him as well. They were the quintessential partners in marriage. So to keep from going off track, let's focus on the assignment specifics. In Leah Milio's article, she asked several questions. These are our starting points and prompts to analyze the stories and historical location of our women of choice with regard to their contribution to the American Revolution and the narratives we remember. What made Abigail Adams different? Abigail Adams was an equal partner in all respects to her husband and not just in action. He saw her as a full equal partner as well. She wasn't known for just one thing or one event. She's known for an entire life of noteworthy contributions in many areas. Why has the story been so widely accepted? Abigail's adult life is one of the most documented lives of the period. There are over 1,200 letters between her and John alone publicly accessible. She was a prolific letter writer throughout her entire life. Much of her legend comes from quotes of her own writing. Throughout the play 1776, there is a reoccurring theme of duets between John and Abigail. These are all pieces of letters responding back and forth to each other. Does the story deserve to continue into the next century? Absolutely. There is no question Abigail Adams' life and story should continue into the future. Abigail as a role model in general alone is worth continuing into the next century. The model that she and John presents as equal partners in life is even more important to present day people and to people in the future. So the next question read a little bit clunky to me, so I'm going to paraphrase it as, could anyone else fill her shoes? This is a difficult question to answer because there are so many possible permutations and we don't know, you know, who or whatever could have happened. I'm going to say no. Abigail's functions are often thought as just a housewife or the wife of whatever position John happened to be filling at the time. But this is not at all representative of her contributions. During most of her and John's partnership, she had a considerable input to the outcomes that are often accredited to him. Her contributions to the Second Continental Congress might not be overtly visible through the congressional record, but they are visible in her letters to John and her letters to others. An exception to this may be the role as First Lady. Um, her political opponents sometimes referred to her as Mrs. President. In that role, she was very much in the public view and very outspoken. Others had opportunities to make such contributions, but none did the way Abigail Adams did. How important was it to have a famous female from the American Revolution? Having a strong female presence in historical context is always important. Having someone like Abigail Adams in public view during the period was just as important as having her as a historical figure today. Does the actual person still hold importance as well as a famous icon? Again, absolutely. The legend of Abigail Adams is pretty much her as she was. I'm sure there are some embellishments here and there, but realistically, she was what she seemed to be. Outspoken, strong, very well read, very well informed, and very capable in all respects. Why haven't writings challenging the validity of the legend affected the public's praise of Abigail Adams? By and large, this harkens back to the available record. There is just so much evidence to her story that it's hard to dispute. 
most of what's been written about her uses her own words to describe her actions, her feelings, and beliefs. It is possible for some interpretations to be less nuanced than the actual person, but even in that, there's such a volume of information, it's hard to see any substantive contradictions. There's so much to say about Abigail Adams, and no way to cover even a small fraction of her importance to the revolution, and how she can continue to inspire people today in such a short period of time. Abigail Adams is, and always will be, an amazing historical figure.